Ja, mag ich nicht. Kuchen. Nein. This table's a good drawing board. Nein. And break clean is the magic eraser. <laughs> like an etched sketch just bigger <laughs> sometimes I have enough aluminum dust we could actually like draw it like yeah Ta -da. And that now shows us our limit for the bar the line is this underside because that's what we want on it and now I can mark my ends for my cut length Ta -da. What's going on guys? My friend Austin just dropped off his Del Sol. It's a little built, uh, I think it's Vitara build, right? Yeah, it's a Vitara Z6. Yeah, so a little Z6 Vitara build in his Del Sol. He's been running the PSCA class, which will be, ha so far we're keeping these plans going, but we have a little race series we put on with the PSCA, and he's planning on running the street class with it. So we're gonna get it on the dyno today, and uh, see if we can't get it, <clears throat> see if we can't get its tune up in it and get it worked out so um, we just had him drop it off and i'll go outside and wipe it down clean it up and then bring it in uh, we decided we weren't going to have anybody just hang out uh, that they can just drop their stuff off we'll tune them and then just leave them outside for them to pick up so we're gonna go ahead and do that what turbo's on it i think it's a 35 r so we should be able to do that yeah all right let's bring it in here and see what kind of single jingle power we can make Out of quarantine and into the sun. Oh, yeah. That hurts my eyes. There she is. Yeah, and we do keep filling in these potholes. You guys noticed them in the NSX video. And they come back as fast as we fill them up. Uh, we're going to do a whole, I think, is the French drain this side or the other side? The French drain's going to be on the... Okay, so French drain back there. But the drainage is more on that side. Yeah. I don't know. But we're looking at recycled asphalt, and we're looking at asphalt. We're looking at paving it. Whatever we can do. Just not concrete. We can't afford that. <laughs> well, we can try. All right. Key. Got him. Got it. Sitting on it. The oil pressure wire must be grounded to something. Okay. So I'll need to check that real quick. I doubt that it, you know, I, I'm sure it has oil pressure. Yeah. But if that light touches, if the wire isn't connected and touches anything and grounds out, it completes the circuit and makes it to where the light comes on. It's all been redone down there. Yeah. I think he has it straight to the ground, honestly. He's got a nice intake. I need to here. get a flashlight. Okay, Alright, because yeah, it feels like that wire is just straight to the ground, so we'll look real quick. But if it is, that would keep the keep the light on fuel injectors in the a5 
That'll be close unless it's on pump gas. They look like they're thousands. They look like they're thousands, so. That's what they are, FIC thousands. 500 maybe a chore. All right, so it is to the pressure sensor. Um. All right, so that wire is to the pressure sensor. I don't see it grounded offhand. Um, so we may need to- Do you want me to ask him if that's always been like that or- Yeah, or we need to okay. pull this feed line real quick and just crank it without starting it. See if the pressure is there. Because yeah. I mean, it's just a port off the side, you know? Yeah. So it should work like normal. And the wire is buck, buck connected, but if that wasn't good connection, it would just be yeah. off. And the fact it's on, we just need to double check or it may just need yeah. a pressure sensor or a gauge. I just want to make sure. You always suggest oil pressure gauges. That's like. Yeah, oil pressure gauge is key. Yeah, it honestly is. Those are the two I would just. Yeah, that's the two gauges you need. <laughs> yeah, you should always have for sure. All right, let's find that out then, and then uh, I'm just waiting for a message back. We can go from there. It looks like uh, Z6 Edelbrock Former X intake manifold, NGK wires. Yeah, it looks like a 35 turbo. Is this one of ours or a no, different style? I think that's the CX. Okay, so CX turbo. Nice off front mount. File gate with an adapter. Towel gear, towel blow valve. All right, Pull so it's just arm. double checking the, we got their friends at Speed Factories four bar on there. But yeah, so we just need to hear back from him on the oil pressure light. And we'll continue to work on getting this tune going. Said the connector always falls off oil pressure gauge in the glove box. Oh, so he does have a gauge. Yeah. Yeah, you want to fire it up? All right, yes, I do. Have you got that flashlight? There was a time. That's the kind of stuff if the client was here, he would just inform us without having to yeah. screw around. But that's how it's going right now. So we know now and uh, we're gonna get to work. Bring you with me through my day. I got some mail. I'm gonna go ahead and open this real quick. <laughs> All right. Oh man. So here's my mail. Dear chap, I'm going to the motorway and I need your world renowned expertise. Can I make a dyno appointment for the Global Mobile? Sincerely, Farnworth Clutch Slip ESQ 10W30, Duke of Board Track, Bandito <laughs> ET. Oh, well. P.S. Do you have a steam dyno? Why, yes, I do. I don't mind. If this thing has wheels and can turn, let's put this on the dyno. Steam or not, that is great. Thank you so much for that package. And I had just opened this one. Sometimes I should film these before I crack them open. Like that one I did. Um, but this showed up today. And check that out. Really just what we needed. A solid state drive. And that should help our dyno computer with the noise. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up. Super stoked. Oh, it's got a note too. Give me one sec. Oh, it's just an invoice. 
Awesome though. Very cool. Thank you for that solid state drive. Someone anonymous it looks like. Oh, Gavin Bay. Oh man, thank you man. His RX-7 is sick. It's got a K-swap in it. Um, I'll throw his Instagram right here. Thanks brother a bunch. I needed that solid state and you came through so. Mm. All right, let's get back on the Del Sol and get real. Yeah, you could just hear it. Duh, duh, duh. Man, that manifold is low. <laughs> so, Jamie's taking the plugs out. We noticed this one wasn't tight at all. Neither was that one. He did no effort. Try the last one. Let's just see. By hand, bro. I'm just that strong. He is that strong, honestly. Well, those will help some of the misfiring. But maybe that's we'll how you made it out. live at 17 pounds. Yeah. No, you, you leave the little layer out the hole. Put the wires look okay. There and it was only yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're edgy caves. They're nice ones. Yeah, I just make sure they weren't oh, they corroded all and yeah. burned up from the combustion process, escaping. Okay, well, Jamie's gonna get these plugs gapped and put in, and then uh, we're gonna try to make Austin's go up. 350 horse ain't a bad start. did was I tightened one of the plug gaps up and tightened the plugs all the way. Did you put new ones in? No. Oh, let's put new ones in. Okay. I thought I put new ones in. Sorry. She got some new plugs in it.
we do? Rising, or it's got a low pressure pump, or yeah, there's not enough pump because I'm at 97 98% in a thousand, so in theory, I should be good to 500 at yeah. least. Yeah, so Brent's got a fuel problem. We're at what, like 97% duty cycle? Yeah, so we're gonna check and see if it has a spider washer real quick. We're waiting to hear back from him on what pump is in it. It is. Yeah. It's yeah, a spider right. washer? Yep. Yeah. yeah, so it may just be... Uh, I mean, even a 255 pump. shouldn't be out, though, should no, it? 255 shouldn't be out. It could be a low pressure, though. It could be a really old one, yeah. Yeah. Says there if I see thousands, but it's got a 450. Damn. Yeah, the fuel pressure. We'll double check this camera, but from where I was standing, it rose and it probably went up to 80 from where I was standing, which the math adds up. Yeah. And I wasn't rich. I was like riding the money. It goes up to like 70. But it isn't one to one. -ing. So could be this regulator, you know. We almost need something to test because our base was at 58 PSI. We went to 70. We went to 25 pounds. So yeah. you have to add 25 pounds to 58. And that should be 84 ish. 84 ish, 85 ish, whatever, yeah. in that range. And we saw 70. That's 15. So that's not one to one. So that's why we're not. That's why we don't have enough fuel. Yeah, so it like, could be this regulator itself. Or the injectors could be smaller than... Or the injectors are smaller than he knows. But like you said, they say FIC 70. And the fuel pressure itself shows that it's not one to one -ing. So yeah. if that doesn't one to one, it doesn't matter what the size of the injection. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. Mm -hmm. It has to one to one... To get the right ratio. To get the right yeah. ratio. Yeah. To get the multiply. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just like, you know, all these That's deadhead systems where, you know, you're stuck at 58 PSI, all the Ks, yeah, that are deadhead, you're, even with thousands, you're stuck at 400 horse. Mm -hmm. The exact same thing's happening right and now. That yeah. math, that's actually only giving a rising rate of about a half a pound per. Right, per pound. Boost. Yeah, exactly. Per but pound this boost. regulator could be a half pound regulator. I've never seen one. They're yeah. usually all one to one. One but to one, unless you have an FMU, which is. You know, and a large uh, ratio. Yeah. Of I mean, and an option we have is just to put a factory one on there and keep going. I like that idea. Stock never lets me down. I made 800 on stock. We can sure try it. See if we can keep yeah. going. Because it's all just a stock pump. rail. The fuel line's right there. Wouldn't be that big a deal. Yeah. Put a stock regulator on there and see if I go fat. Yeah. That would tell us everything we need to know. Answer all of our questions. 
Yeah. Yep. It didn't change anything out here, it looked like. I was gonna check the video. But I know the flame when I let off was sick. Oh man. It was awesome. I was like, man, I hope there's no vapors around here. I was <laughs> like, I was like, I gotta it run for a awesome, fire extinguisher. <laughs> they like candled up as soon as I came off throttle, it was cool. That's cool, that's cool. Ah. Man, that manifold I can see through was- through the runners right now. Oh yeah. Still oh yeah. <laughs> it was bad. You know how it's burning? <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I'm, I'm at 95%. System's tapped out. For whatever reason. Yeah. When we pull the injectors again, because the fuel pressure's not dropping. So, I don't see that being there. Nope. Injectors could definitely not be the right, be what he thinks they are, though. You could slow them and see. Yeah. I mean, Brent have been over on the dyno. Looks like Sean's getting close to done with the lower radiator support. Getting it all welded in. Got some tabs for the intercooler. Good job, man. Yeah. Plug it along. Heck yeah, loving it. Doing Dodge stuff. <laughs> My daughter Samantha showed up to air up her tire, and I don't know if you're gonna try yeah, to finish sure. drilling that or what, but you're getting closer every day. Hold on, I think I got this wrong. No, you had it right, obviously. I just heard it. No, it wasn't showing nothing. Like the... Did you turn it on? Yeah. No, the... Yeah. Okay. That one looks like... Yeah, push it down and clip it in. What are you trying to do, my dear? This one has too much. Oh, it has too much? Yeah. Oh. Because the one, the come and go thing doesn't work. Dog grooming all day? Yeah. Nice. Gotta go home and make bandanas. Is that your thing right now? Oh, are you gonna sell bandanas? Yeah, my boss. Doggy bandanas? Yeah. Where's Where's everybody gonna be able to find these bandanas? Because you don't have a website yet or not? At the Paw Spa in Longmont, or I mean, on your Instagram? Instagram, probably. And what's your Instagram? Do you want people uh, to know your Instagram? I don't care. I think it's just Samantha Brene. Okay. Cool. And what's Brene mean? It's Brent and Renee <laughs> together. Because <laughs> that's my parents' name. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> We're terrible. Thanks, Total Set. He's like, I got in trouble earlier today. Oh, so this is one of your bandanas it's, right here, huh? Yep. Size adjust. Oh, look at you go. Yeah. Those are pretty <laughs> yummy. <laughs> He's hungry. Yeah. They're all done. They don't fray or nothing. So you're just sewing these or what? Yeah. Those are cool. Yep. Samantha Bernay. He rocks it. He rocks it. Puppy chick. Well, Sean's been working away 
Got intercooler all mounted to the new lower radiator support. Got our new Honda radiator mounted in the SRT4. The intake manifold issue. So we're on a time crunch because of the coronavirus thing, we're trying to leave early for the Freedom 500. The intake manifold was going straight into the transmission. The intercooler was also going straight into the transmission. Cut that back, he's gonna weld this onto there and turn it there. And then let's go see what he did for the intake manifold. So I had another stock intake manifold laying around. Oh. We have flanges. Oh no, I'm just recording what you're doing. Um, we have flanges to build a manifold, but we don't have a lot of time. Because we're trying to leave like Thursday. And I don't know when you guys will see this, but it's Tuesday. So as soon as he's done welding, we'll show you what we got going on here. I cut up this, other, this intake manifold. Sean welded some of it back together and added this bend in here to aim it down away from the transmission towards the intercooler. All right. All right, I'm just gonna pull this thing out real quick. And then Austin's gonna come and pick it up. But before it does, Make sure we give it a little quick wipe down, huh? Anything that I might have touched or he might touch, you know? All right. Done deals. Lead by example. All right, man. Quarantine. <laughs> <laughs>